it's Easter Sunday. Hope everyone's doing good. Um, finally got some of the trees out of their winter setup. Um, got quite a bit more that need to wait to come out permanently, but I think these guys will be fine for now. Weather looks clear for um, a couple weeks here, so got kind of weird. I mean, it's not weird. It's idle weather, but good cold snap last last week. So, anyways, here's some of the conifer conifers. Um, yep, some Hugo pine, a couple Austrian pines, Scots pine. There's the uh, Himalayan cedar and the uh, incense cedar. Apple tree, still need to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. Um, Russian olive, it's the one I potted up last year. This is one I dug up this, this spring. Hawthorn dug up from the yard. It's a Chinese pistachios, starting to wake up. Just that big uh, Siberian elm dug up maybe a month, month and a half ago. Looks like all this top is dead, so we will wait and see what happens there this, this year, but pretty sure that's all dead, so might just be kind of a little chunky sumo tree. Let's see what else. Elm. It's a seiju elm. <clears throat> figure out what I'm gonna do with this this year. Got this big knobby section. I might just you know, take off a couple of these bottom ones, an air layer here, and then have to start developing those four or five branches that are left over. Um, Norway maple forest. Ritz are coming out the bottom. I should probably repot that one. I don't know. Big Norway maple, probably chopper right here. Once everything's leafed out, it's a Norway maple clump. It's a silver maple, amber maple back there, another amber maple. That's a silver maple fusion. Couple more amber maples. These poor liquid amber. Here's the ivy. Uh, I repotted. I think it was like New Year's Day or something like that. But she's in need of a haircut already. Um, yep. Tony Aster. Some willow cuttings from last year. And then uh, this guy's done. But this is. Blue Atlas Cedar from the neighbor's tree. <laughs> Did some prop lift in there last year. Looks like that one made it through the winter, so I'll probably look to pot him up in the next couple days. Uh, Shishigashira. Looking good this spring after the repot. It's uh, Arakawa. Also looking good. Just a regular Japanese maple. This little uh, one I chopped way back with air layer two years ago. It's uh, another one hacked way back. Again, I need to. Wish I'd put a little more wire on that top, get a little more movement, but there's still time. But probably just. Kind of keep it clipped up nice this year. Start forming a nice pyramid shape. There's a couple more Japanese maple air layers from last year that I separated. Probably September last year. So, looking good. Here's one of the recently repotted ones. Um, and it's already in need of a haircut. I've been chilling in the garage with the grow light and brought out when I can, when I have time. And here's my 
Probably my favorite Japanese maple so far. Looking good. These inner nodes seem to be a little tighter on this tree, so. Yeah, just kind of keep her, keep her kind of compact this year. Let her, let her extend a little bit. I'm repotting, but um, yeah. And then here is that tree from the front yard. Japanese maple. This is the first Japanese maple that I ever acquired. I guess 2011, I think. I think I tried to do that. Somewhere in here. Oops. I tried to do a graft like a red Japanese maple onto it, a plant propagation class, but uh, it failed. And then it's just kind of been in a little pot for a couple of years and then put it in a bigger pot and let it grow. I think two years in the ground here at this house, but if we do end up moving one of these years, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be this year, but it's out of the ground now in a pot. This one hasn't seen too much sun this year so far. Just kind of kept it in the garage this last week and everything pushed out, so... A little yellow, not a lot of sun hitting it, but it's probably happy now that she's outside. So, we'll go check out the big elm. Looks like we got some winter damage on this tree this year. This winter, this was all new growth last year, a couple little spots, but there's no green on there so. That's all right, we still got plenty to work with and I think it's starting to back bud closer in on the trunk there. So maybe at some point we can kind of shrink this in. I, need, I, I mean, ideally I'd hack it back, but I want to give this tree as much vigor as I can. So just leave some on the ends to strengthen everything else up and hopefully we get some back budding eventually and make it look like a little more nice compact style tree but it's all right yeah see i think this whole branch is dead but oh well it's just got enough to stay stay going so here's some more of the siberian elms um yeah i had big plans for these but i don't know these things kind of being out in the wind all winter a lot of this fine stuff just dies back um, and then all the everything's just pops up top so I don't know we'll see what we're gonna do I don't know too busy to think about it right now so anyways just a quick little update through the trees so yep still got a bunch of the couple ficus and jades and other succulents to Put out but probably another two or three weeks before i feel safe loading the rest of the benches up with those just i don't want to have to move them back in if there's going to be a random frost here here and there so all right happy easter everyone take care